You just had a great day. You just spent a half day fishing. But the problem is, you've got a bag full of small rockfish. What do you do? It's tough enough to get permission from everyone, especially the little woman. But when you come home with a small rockfish, oh my God, what do you do? Don't panic. I've got just the answer. I'm gonna teach you guys an easy fish recipe. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do with that small rockfish that's gonna turn you into a gourmet cook. It'll be delicious. All you need is a frying pan. And believe me, your wife will love you and she'll ask you, when are you going fishing next? And I want to thank Captain Brian Woolley of the Sum Fund out of Dana Point for handing over a couple of these rockfish to me because I went and met him at the docks and I talked to some of his customers and they came up to me and said, what in God's name do we do with a small rockfish? And they're the ones that gave me the inspiration for this recipe. So here you have it, gentlemen. My name is Yanni. This is Fisherman's Belly, the home of easy fish recipes. Here we go. California spiny lobsters. I'll take that one. Oh my. I'm gonna fillet this yellowtail in my suit and tie. Oh my goodness, take a look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the steam coming off. Homemade smoked tuna belly dip. Oh my god. Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fried crispy tuna tacos. Bring home a whole yellowtail and make this soup. So the deckhands cut these fins off of this scorpion fish. So the first thing we're going to do is gut the fish, right? So I'm going to start here at the back side, right at the anal port, and I'm going to work my uh, knife all the way up. Now believe it or not, these fish are tough. There we go. All right, always have a dish for the guts, all right? You don't want to throw them in your garbage disposal because they're tough and they'll clog up your garbage disposal. All right, so the next move is to actually run the knife through the gill plates and cut the esophagus. That way you can pull the guts out. All right, so there's the gills from the bottom part of the jaw. And they also come up and attach right up in here, so we have to disconnect the gills right here. Let me run my knife in here. Watch your fingers, gentlemen. Right in here. And there's the gills. So now that the esophagus and the gills are out, I can pull out all the guts. And there we go. Wow. Almost clean. Run some water so we can see what we're doing. And by the way, you guys, when you end up catching a small rockfish like this, you know you, you can't throw it back. The eyes are bulging and it's just going to die. It's a crying shame to have the deckhand fillet this. There's, you know, you'll end up with so little of it. What I plan on doing with this is frying it up whole. Maybe if my wife is squeamish about looking at fish heads, I'll cut the head off. But I'm going to fry it up whole because it's absolutely delicious. It's always best to cook a fish with its bones because the bones will offer flavor and moisture to the meat. So you're going to love this. It's going to be a really quick and easy recipe. Hold on. Check this out. Let's keep going. The only thing left now is scaling. And in case you're wondering, you know, this is a scorpion fish and while it's alive, don't get anywhere near it because you can get, end up getting poisoned. But after it's dead, all that poison denatures. So don't be afraid to handle it. It's absolutely safe. Okay, the next step is to actually scale this thing. And you can tell by running your fingers over it. Now 
there's the scales. All right, so this thing has been gutted. The gills have been removed. It's been scaled. Come here and take a look. Check out the inside. See that? All the organs are gone. It's just nice, firm, white meat. The gills are completely gone. And it's ready. I've got one more of these, another small one. I'm gonna prep it, and then I'm gonna pat them dry with some paper towels and get them ready for the frying pan. And then while they're frying up, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a quick salsa with avocado, tomato, and onion, and some lemon. And that'll be it. And I'm telling you, in less than a half an hour, we're gonna be serving up dinner and getting praises. Just, just hold on, you'll see, you'll see. All right, so one last move. Whenever you're cooking a whole fish, even if it's a small rockfish like this, because of the thickest part of the fish, the thickest part is right here in the center, we're gonna make two cuts, we're gonna make two slits, on each, one on each side. There we go, one here, all the way to the bone, right? And then I'll make one exactly the same way on the opposite side. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow and promote even cooking of the fish, right? So you don't end up burning this thin portion here while you're waiting for the thicker portion to cook. Okay, the only seasonings we're gonna need for this easy fish recipe is we're gonna need some dry oregano and some salt and a little bit of olive oil. So I'm fortunate because I grow my own oregano. So let me pick a little fresh oregano. Oh man, I love these oregano flower tops. Salt, oregano, and olive oil, and that's it. Can it get any easier than this? Let's get back in the kitchen. There's one. Olive oil. And there's number two. Bingo. All right, gang, our next step is let's get the frying pan heated up. I want a medium high heat. And I've got some grapeseed oil. I'm gonna add probably about four, maybe five tablespoons. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Okay, next, a brown paper bag. You can still find these at grocery stores, believe it or not. One cup of all-purpose flour. A healthy pinch of some kosher salt. A little cracked black pepper. A little mix. Okay. And now let's get the fish. One. And two. Try not to make too big of a mess, because you need to clean up. Have a nice clean kitchen, otherwise this project won't be worth it. You don't want to make your wife find a dirty kitchen. All right, the oil looks like it's starting to shimmer. And here's our first candidate. And our second candidate. There we go. All right, well this should take about three or four minutes per side. I'll check for color and then we'll flip them. So while that's frying up, let's put together a quick avocado and tomato salsa. So all we need is an avocado, tomato, an onion, and a little uh, cilantro and a lemon and some olive oil. Watch, this is gonna be quick. Check this out. All right, here's why I get paid the big bucks. Ooh, nice looking avocado. Okay, we'll run our knife along the inside edge to start things off. Right. And we'll take a big spoon and scoop it out. There we go. Flip it over. We'll do the same with the other side.
Now we'll dice it up. Okay, let's do the same for a tomato. About the same size dice. I'm using Roma tomatoes here. So we got one avocado and one tomato. Nice healthy pinch of salt. Got a small onion. I'm only going to use a half. Half a lemon. Remember that uh, extra virgin olive oil? I always love Kirkland extra virgin olive oil. Just a touch of that. Okay, a little bit of a mix. And that's all she wrote. Look how beautiful that is. Avocado, tomato, and onion salsa. Let's get back to our fish. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes. Time to turn the fish over. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Perfect. Holy moly. I'm telling you, timing, multitasking, that's what it's all about. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's check these. It's been about three or four minutes per side. Perfect. Look at that color. That's it. And the other one? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uno. And dos. Oh wow. Alright, let's let's go and plate this out. Alright, here we go. There's the fish. And here's the salsa. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my goodness. Perfect. In 
and here's our lemons. There you go, boys. You talk about an easy fish dinner. Oh my God, less than a half an hour. And, and this is gonna help you with your dilemma of a small rockfish. In more ways than you can ever imagine. First of all, this is super delicious. Second of all, the little woman is gonna be so impressed. All she's gonna say to you is, take a day off tomorrow and go fishing again. Oh my God. If you guys want the full recipe, by the way, go to my website at fishermansbelly.com. And if you haven't subscribed to my website or my YouTube channel, subscribe so you can keep up with the latest recipes that I'm putting out. Again, my name is Yanni. This is Fisherman's Belly. This is the home of easy fish recipes. I want to thank you guys for spending time with me today. And we will see you on the next one. And I'm sure your wives are going to be just a little happier after you feed them this.